The modern world would be inconceivable without electricity. In eight hours, a man used to hard work can continuously exert one-tenth of a horsepower, but the same amount of work can be done by an electrical motor in a fraction of the time. Electricity as a harnessed power has no rival. It is clean, silent, and can be turned on and off instantly. Worldwide, there are still two billion people who exist without electrical power. Most are located in remote places like the Brazilian village of Boa Sorte. Too isolated to receive power from the country's grid, the residents are without the electrical inventions of the 20th century and without conveniences like medical vaccines that need refrigeration, electrical motors, or clean running water. The villagers use contaminated surface water, which was funneled from the springs to the local watering hole. The only clean water was buried deep beneath the earth. An electrical pump was needed to get the water to the surface. To solve this problem, the governments of Brazil and the U.S. joined forces to provide electricity by harnessing the sun's energy. Putting out power poles and lines is so expensive that actually photovoltaic energy is much cheaper here than using um, traditional forms of fuel. Photovoltaic cells, or solar panels, convert energy radiated by the sun into electricity. It is clean, renewable power that villages like this can afford. Engineer Roger Taylor is part of the electrification initiative in Brazil. In this particular village, they're going to change by having uh, the school accessible at night. Uh, the health clinic will certainly be able to store vaccines and provide more immediate health services. And the water pumping system here, particularly since it's so deep, will provide very pure, very clean, filtered water. The joint effort will set up four different systems here. The largest will power an electric water pump for the well. Water pumping takes a fair amount of energy in this case because the well is fairly deep. Uh, the well here, uh, we will put the pump at about 100 meters uh, down in the ground, so it takes a lot of energy to pump that water up, up to the top. When a solar panel is put out into the sun, the materials within it release electrons and produce electricity. In Boa Sorge, the panels are being connected to a pump. When the system is up and running, the electric current and water will flow. Countdown. And the village will celebrate the day the power was turned on. Turn Technological advancements that took 100 years to develop arrived here with the flick of a switch. <laughs> and so then it'll be very interesting to see once they have the basic standard of living that many people the rest of the world enjoy how their lives and their culture will evolve from that. More and more aspects of our world depend on electrons in motion. They flow through countless switches and machines. They flow through our bodies and brains. When Ben Franklin stepped out into a storm with a key and a kite in 1752, he could never have imagined the way electricity would revolutionize the world.
Did you know? The brightest man-made spot on Earth seen from space is Las Vegas, Nevada. But long before Vegas got its sparkle, Coney Island in New York was called an electric Eden. In the early 1900s, more than a million incandescent light bulbs illuminated the island's amusement parks.